All right. And then you should be consistent with the use of color. Remembering that there are certain universal constants. For instance, everybody knows that green means go. Red means stop, right? Red means danger, decline, whereas green means safety, growth. Now, granted, these days we are encouraged to adopt a more muted palette, you know, for accessibility reasons, and that's fine. But the underlying principle still holds true. Spencer Sobzak says that contrasting colors differentiate among groups, whereas different shades of the same color can indicate the relative strength or weakness of a value. And then keep shaped graphical elements proportional to each other. Dr. Edward Tufte, um, master statistician, Yale professor, speaker, and so forth, he, um, he advocates not exceeding what he used to call the lie factor. Essentially, it means that the representation of numbers as physically measured on the surface of your graphical elements themselves should be directly proportional to the quantities they represent. Huh? That's a mouthful. Okay, well, to put it in simpler terms, it, it, it's often expressed like this as a mathemat mathema yeah, you think you can talk, mathematical equation. The size of the effect shown in the graphic divided by the size of the effect shown in the data should never be greater than one. Let me illustrate. Suppose that you wanted to create a graph that illustrated the number of tech support calls for the PCs in that fancy dancy brand new user experience data center that you just built, you know, the early example, right? And um, you uh, are, are very creative, so you decide you want to make your icons in your graph look like this, little wrenches, right? And let's say that in the first month of your observation period, 10 such tech support calls are generated. So you make your icon look like this little wrench here. Now suppose the following month there are 40 such tech support calls. How much bigger should the next wrench be than this one? Shout it out. Yeah, four times, right. It should look four times bigger. Something like this, right? We good? Okay. You are within Tufty's lie factor. Make your wrench four times bigger. Keep it proportional. However, let's say that you are angry about these tech support calls. You cannot stand the fact that you're having tech support calls on PCs that you yourself babied into existence. And, you know, you're getting really mad about it. So you decide to make your icon look like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have just exceeded the lie factor.